thanks, spinal stenosis is a narrowing of the spinal canal that puts pressure on the spinal cord and nerves. Yeah, and it can cause some debilitating pain and num numbness in the lower back and legs, and 10% of all Americans will experience it. As Wink News health and medical reporter Amy Oster explains, patients now have a new FDA-approved treatment that's helping them avoid a fusion. Nathan Snyder has been an athlete his entire life. He played football at Harvard, but his back pain started even before college. I actually think it was a hit I took in high school. Little by little, the pain got the best of him. As it progressed, it started as nerve pain down my leg and it eventually got all the way to my toes I'm on both sides. Nathan was diagnosed with spinal stenosis, a wear and tear of the joints in the lower spine, creating bone spurs that push on the nerves. I stopped running consistently, running, seemed to trigger it. I, I had to stop playing basketball. When he came to me was really very debilitated for him. Allegheny Health neurosurgeon Donald Whiting offered Nathan an alternative to spinal fusion that would relieve his pain and preserve his range of motion. And what it is is an artificial joint that actually can move. The procedure is called TOPS posterior arthroplasty. Surgeons alleviate nerve pressure by substituting bone with two movable titanium joints, and they do not insert a rigid rod, typical of a spinal fusion. There's less wear and tear on the levels above and below, and less a need for further surgery down the road. Nathan said he knew immediately it had worked. Now he's pain-free, can bend, flex, walk, work out, do all the things he couldn't do for decades. I feel better than I did at 30. Amy Osher, Wink News. Now, Nathan was all part of a clinical trial, but now the TOPS device is FDA approved and it can be used for patients with problems in the spine from vertebrae L3 to L5, the segments of the spine most commonly affected by spinal stenosis. The